three identical spring mass simple harmonic oscillators A, B, and C are set into oscillation by three students. This position as a function of time graph shows the motion of the three oscillators. Rank the three oscillators from high to low according to A, the period of the oscillation, and B, the frequency of the oscillation. The period of a spring mass simple harmonic oscillator is 2 pi square root of uh, m over k. Since the oscillators are identical, that's, that means uh, they all have the same mass, and they all have identical springs, so the k's are the same. And 2 pi is a constant, that means uh, the period would be the same for all three of those. So. The period for A and B and C, they will all be the same. And for frequency, how do we find frequency? Frequency is 1 over period. So if periods are all the same, that means the frequency would also be the same for all three. The graphs look like this just because they are out of phase. They were set into oscillation at different times. So the graphs are just shifted. And C, rank the potential energy of the oscillators at t equals to t naught. And D, rank the kinetic energy of the mass at t equals to t naught. When we work on ranking problems or proportion problems, it is just like normal problem solving. If we want to compare the potential energy, it probably helps to think about how we would find the potential energy. For spring mass systems, it's easier for us to look at horizontal instead of vertical or slanted oscillators. For horizontal oscillator, the potential energy is only the elastic kind stored in the spring. No mgy to worry about. So u equals to 1 half kx squared. There are three identical oscillators. That means uh, identical springs, k's are the same. One half is always a constant. That means uh, to compare the potential energy, we just have to compare the x. So what do you get? Which oscillator has the largest x at t equals to t naught? It is uh, c. And then it's b. And then a. Because this is x squared, so the signs for x do not matter. We can just compare the amount of x. So c has the largest x, and then b, and then a. Another way to look at this is that if positive x means that the spring is stretched, then negative x means the spring is compressed. The one that has the most potential energy stored in the spring is the one that has the most stretched or compressed amount. Again, the sign of x does not matter when we compare the spring's potential energy. To compare k, we can think about how we would find k. Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. 1 half is a constant, and then for the identical oscillators, they all have the same mass. So to compare the kinetic energy, we just have to compare the velocity. How do we get information about velocity if we are given a position versus time graph? It's the slope of the graph. So what do you get? Again, because here we have v squared, so the sign for v does not matter. If the slope is negative, meaning the velocity is in the negative direction, we will just compare the speed, the absolute value of the v. So we can just compare the steepness of the curve, whether the slope is positive or negative. So which one is the steepest at t naught? The steepest one is uh, a. And then the next one is B. 
and then C. In fact, C has a zero slope at T naught, so the speed for C at T naught is zero. There's no kinetic energy for C at T naught. Now let's rank the three oscillators by E, the maximum potential energy, F, the maximum kinetic energy, and G, the total mechanical energy. For a simple harmonic oscillator, the total mechanical energy K plus U is conserved. At the end point, because it's a turning point, so the speed is zero, the kinetic energy is zero, that means that all of the energy is in the potential energy. So of course the potential energy would be a maximum. At the end point, the kinetic energy is the maximum because for a horizontal spring mass oscillator, at the equilibrium position, the spring is relaxed. There is no energy stored in the spring, so no potential energy. That means we get all the energy in kinetic energy, therefore the kinetic energy is a maximum. That means E equals to U max equals to K max. So those three are equal. To compare these, we just have to pick one of those to compare. With the information we have, which one of these do you think is the easiest one to compare? It's probably the U max. Let's see. The maximum potential energy stored in the spring is 1 half k x squared. And the maximum potential energy happens at the end point when the x is a maximum, when the x is the amplitude. So to compare u, we just have to compare the amplitude because 1 half is always the same identical spring mass system. That means the same k. So which oscillator has the largest amplitude? It's A. And then it's C and then B. So it is ACB.